This is 1943 as Jefferson Nichols struck on a Type 1 steel sand planchette, graded in mid state 65 by NGC. This is 1943 as 5 cent is war nickel of a different kind struck not in copper, silver, manganese, but in steel on a sand blank of 1943 without upset rim. A decently detailed example given the unusual circumstances, lightly toned blue and gold with easily appreciated luster. This error is highly prized, especially when found in high grade mint states. Graded in mint state 65 by NGC, the coin has an impressive level of preservation with sharp details and minimal contact marks. The rarity and the uniqueness of this error coin make it a valuable piece in the numismatic world. It was sold for $18,400 at Heritage Auctions. This is 2000 P Sacagawea dollar coin struck on a Susan B. Anthony dollar planchette graded in mint state 65 by NGC. It is a rare and intriguing mint error. This coin, graded MS65, carries a weight of 8.1 grams, consistent with Susan B. Anthony planchet. The error resulted in a coin that features Sacagawea's design on wrong planchet, making it highly sought after by collectors. This unique combination of design and planchet adds significant value and historical interest to the coin, especially in such high grade. This error coin was sold for $16,800 at Heritage Auctions. And this is 1944 Lincoln Sands struck on an experimental planchet graded in mint state 62 by PCGS. According to heritage auctions, during the World War II, the copper was an imported munitions alloy, while silver was not. For example, silver was added to the wartime Jefferson nickel alloy, while copper and nickel were removed. One can speculate that the present sand was intentionally struck as a part of an effort to replace unsuitable 1943 steel sand, yet reduce the copper content of 1944 cents. In any event, this coin exists in its possibly unique silver copper alloy. It is lustrous and nicely struck with unmarked surfaces and light golden brown toning. It was sold for $19,200 at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for watching, keep following us on YouTube and don't forget to hit the like button. God's willing, see you in the next episode.